Okay guys, Mr. G here with another video for the grade 8. Last time we learned about atoms, we learned that matter is everything around us that has mass and occupied some space. We learned about elements and we mentioned that all the elements are located in a table called the periodic table of the element. Today we are going to learn a little bit about this table, okay? So here, this is an example of a periodic table of the element. It is not color like the ones I show you, okay? And this is one of the activities we are going to be doing today, all right? So now we need to know that elements in the periodic tables are divided in three main groups. Those groups are metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. Elements can be metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. Now, the metals is the big amount of element in the periodic table. Majority of the elements are metals, okay? And minority will be the semi-metal. Now, semi-metals are elements that are not metals and they are not non-metals. They are in between. Now, the first activity we are going to do is to take any color you want because we're going to color the periodic table, okay? Now, first of all, we're going to take a color for the semi-metal and for instance, in my case, it's going to be the blue. So I know the elements I color blue are going to be the semi-metals. And let's start doing that now. The semi-metals are going to start from this side here. This element here is a semi-metal going down to this one here is also a semi-metal these ones are semi-metal these ones i'm marking here that you are going to color these ones here are semi-metals and then this one here are semi-metal so this there is what we call the semi-metals all right so that is the first activity you are going to do you are going to divide the periodic table in this side into the semi-metal so you know all this blue here is the semi-metal okay so all the other metals the, all the other elements sorry are going to either be uh, metals or non-metal so this one here is what we call the semi-metal so you are going to color with the color you decide is going to be for the semi-metal it doesn't really matter what color you decide it doesn't need to be a blue blue is the color i decide here I, I use but it does not need to be blue it could be any other color okay now we are going to do the same with the metals and the non-metal let's start with the non-metals now the non-metals i'm going to use for example this uh, brown color so every element I color with that one, it means that it's going to be a non-metal, okay? So now, the non-metal in the periodic table are going to be the one on the right side of the semi-metal. All these elements here in between the lines I am marking are going to be non-metals. All those there on the right side of the semi-metal are going to be the non-metal elements in the periodic table, okay? and the hydrogen which is not on that side but is the first element here on the left side of the periodic table left top okay so we are going to take now the color and color all that side of the periodic table so here you can see now which one is the non metals okay so if you want you can write the top here this is non metal but that is entirely up to you and blue are semi metals okay or metal lords right now all the other elements you see in the periodic table which is a lot is what they are going to be the metals and for that one let's use for instance the yellow okay so the yellow is going to be the color we are going to use for the 
matter is the majority. So I'm going to color, including the two at the bottom here. I'm going to color that one and then I'll show you. There we are. Now, guys, we have the periodic table divided into metals, non-metals, and semi-metals. So when you finish, you should have this periodic table which you are going to color and you're going to paste in your book, in whatever you are using, because you are going to use this periodic table a lot. Now, periodic tables generally have the symbol, some data information, we are going to eventually learn about that, and some of them have the names. In this case, not all the names, are, they are not names here, which means you must learn the name of most element in the periodic table. If I am, if I can, I'll put some symbols there in the community with some names, but not all of them. I cannot put all of them now. There is something else we must learn right now. That is to know that the periodic table is organized in groups and periods. groups and periods. The groups are on top, starting from here, starting from here, groups as are on top. So the groups are going to be going down. For example, this is group one, this is group two, this here is group three, group four, group five, and so on. This one here are the groups going in this direction down. All right so for example if you go to look for any element this element here that i am marking is in group 11 all right those are the groups that is going from group 1 to 18 so this element here is in group 11 and the periods are going to be going towards its right for example these ones here are the periods as i'm speaking now and marking them so this is period one period two period three period four period five period six and period seven these two are not period eight and nine because those elements belong somewhere else but we are not going to be working with those in the, in the whole year so it's, it's fine for now so now this is groups and these are periods so please Remember that one because it's also very important. For instance, this example here, AG, we can say that is AG, which is this element we are working here as an example, is in group 11, period, you go all the way there, is period 5. And this is how do you work with periods and uh, groups. What else can you tell me about that element? That element is a metal. So this is all for now. You are having the introduction to the periodic table. This is the very, uh, the first important thing you need to know about periodic table. I hope it helped. Thank you for watching. Thumb up. I'll see you next time. And next time we're going to be learning about different parts of atoms. Atoms is the building block of matter, it's a very small, but atom has different parts, have subatomic particles, so-called, and we are going to be working with those. Eventually you are going to be um, learn how to you will learn how to draw atoms. But as always, thank you for watching guys, Mr. G here, and ask questions if you have any good luck. See you next time.